Hey everybody, I built this fast transcriber to actually transcribe really long video files very quickly. As a matter of fact, I tested it with a 10 hours video and it can transcribe that in eight minutes. So here is the video file we're going to be using. It's four and a half gigabytes and 10 hours and 30 minutes. This is a collection of my videos that I just put together. Hey everybody, I wanted to talk about 10 hours and 30 minutes. And it's, uh, it works by using FFmpeg and async OpenAI and 10 hours of transcriptions cost $3.6. It first processes the video using GPU support, using CUDA into uh, less than 25 megabyte chunks. Mm. You can specify either if you want to use WAV, WAV format or uh, MP3, see which one works better for you. The reason why we have to do this is because OpenAI's Whisper uh, limits the file size to a maximum of 25 megabytes. Anyways, uh, we're going to be reviewing the code, uh, but I'll play a recording of speed up recording of me running this for 10 hours. I don't want to run it again since it costs three some dollars. But the code files for this will be available at my Patreon. Link will be in the description if you want to download it. Okay, I hope you enjoy this. Before we review the code, I'd just like to mention that you can visit my website, echohive.live, and find all my videos. And if you're a patron, you can find the code download links real quick. Also, check out my 1000x masterclass in which I build projects in Cursor from scratch. There's 19 projects there, over nine hours, and this is available to my patrons. So now let's review the code. Here we have our imports. The requirements for this is these packages, but you may, you probably will have to install FFmpG on your system. I put a link to a really good tutorial. So we have all our imports. We are actually not using multiprocessing and we are not using TQDM, but uh, we are using OpenAI, async OpenAI. If we first specify max chunks to process, if you set this to none, then it will process all uh, chunks. But for test purposes, you can set it to one or 10 just to uh, test it out. And input video is the name of your video and output directory is the audio chunks, which is going to be the split up, split up audio files. Uh, so before we continue to review the functions, let's actually go to the end and look at the main function. This is the order of events. We first get the uh, video duration so we can print it. We get the hours and remainders, minutes and seconds, and we print them. And then we print other information related to our process. And we uh, get a start time for the total start time because this is going to keep track of how long each process takes. We initialize audio processing time. We ask users if they want to do process audio because you may only want to process the audio once. And once you have it, then you may want to experiment with the OpenAI part of it. So you can say yes or no here. Then if the process audio has been said yes, then we ask the user to choose either wave or MP3 and we just print. And then we print that we start audio extraction, start the audio start time, extract and split the audio. And then we print how long that took. And then we start the transcription process. We call the transcribe all chunks and then combine the transcripts and write the combined transcripts here. This is the entire transcript for 10 hours. As you can see, it's quite long, very long actually. And transcription time, end time, and so we can print process. So this is about it. So now let's go ahead and review the functions. Extract audio is going to take in an input video and output audio and audio format. Uh, we can we, uh, do a start time and end time here. So we can print the time this takes. So we are actually calling command prompt CLI command with FFmpeg using CUDA 
giving it the input video and specifying some configurations for the audio. For example, specifying if it's an MP3, specifying 128 bits, uh, kilobits per second. And then we run this command with sub process here. So this is how we are actually uh, managing the speed by using FFmpeg and CUDA. Our next function is to split audio into chunks. This is going to take a input audio, output directory, chunk duration, and audio format. This again is going to run FFmpeg command. And then this is going to run a copy command. It's going to take in an input audio and chunk duration. We're going to run this. And it's going to take care of the, uh, the chunking for us. Function to process a single audio chunk. It's going to take in some arguments. Uh, it's going to be input file, output file, start time, and duration. Again, this runs an FFmpeg command uh, with the input file, start time, duration, and output file. We run it with sub process. This will process each chunk. And we get a, a function to get audio bitrate again, a, a command of ffprobe. And now we run it with sub process and get the bitrate. And we get the uh, video duration so we can print it. Again, we're using FF uh, probe and the video file. Extract and split audio. This is the function to extract and split the audio. It's going to take an input video output audio format and mix file size 25 megabyte. Uh, we have the overall start time here. We create a directory, this directory, audio chunks directory, if it doesn't exist. Extract the full audio. And then we call the extract audio function, which we looked at in the beginning and get audio duration and bitrate, and we print these things, and calculate the chunk duration, mix file size and bits, and then we reduce the chunk duration by 5% to ensure that it's slightly less than 25 megabytes. We do that here, and then we split the audio by calling that function we just looked at, and we clean up, clean up the audio files, remove, or I start remove with the rest of our print statements, and we print the end time, number of chunks, and other information. Now here's the asynchronous function to transcribe single audio chunk. The transcribe chunk, uh, pay attention that it's an async function. Remember, we had imported async OpenAI. So uh, <clears throat> this is going to take in an audio file. We have a try accept block and call the client audio transcriptions of OpenAI with Whisper 1. And if the transcription is completed successfully, we print the success message. Otherwise, we print the exception. Then we have another asynchronous function to transcribe all chunks. So this one is going to initialize the OpenAI directory and call this transcribe chunk a bunch of times. We get all the audio files with the inline list comprehension. And then limit the number of chunks to process. If you set the mix chunks to not none, so you, here you can limit the chunks to be processed. Here we create a task list, and we append uh, each task uh, by calling. Each task is going to be calling of this transcribe chunk function, which we just looked at, which is a call to OpenAI. Okay, with the with the file path, and then we await uh, asyncio.gather and we return the transcripts. We have a, a combined transcripts functions, which just pretty much combines them. And that's it. So this is how we can get uh, super quick transcriptions. Like I said, code files will be available at my Patreon. If you're enjoying my content, you can find more. At my website, you can sign up for updates if you so like. But I really like to iterate the point on 1000x masterclass. I've been coding with the cursor for over uh, 3000 hours. And I've shared everything with you here. Uh, you can actually watch the first. Uh, first or deep dive, first chapter for free, and you can preview each additional chapters for two minutes. Chapters are chapters are such as uh, with Next.js or Fast API, how to build market research apps, multimodal rack, archive rack researcher, Grok chatbot. So there's all kinds of form intelligence, and I just added two new uh, chapters to it. So check it out. It's over nine hours right now. Also, if you like to speak with me. Uh, to get assistance or just to talk to me, or if you need any consulting, I have one-on-one -on -one meeting tiers at my Patreon as well. Check those out, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.